if the people of Singapore give the PAP two-thirds majority at the polls, this will be the last time the people shall be voting under the parliamentary system as we know of it today. Welcome back. Today, we will watch a 1988 debate on whether Singapore should have an elected president. In doing so, we'll see common tactics that politicians use against each other in debates. First, some context. Up to the 1980s, Singapore's parliament chose its president, and the president had a largely ceremonial role. In 1988, the Singapore government proposed the elected presidency. The proposal had two key components. First, people would directly vote for the president. Second, the president would have more powers. They could veto the use of the reserves and key civil service appointments. The opposition, well, opposed these proposals. There was a firestorm of comments. As a result, government and opposition leaders agreed to debate each other in a televised debate. Go Chok Tong and Lee Hsien Loong argued for the government. They would both later become Prime Ministers of Singapore. Lee Kuan Yew didn't take part in the debate. Why? Even though he was Prime Minister, he was preparing to hand over power to Go Chok Tong. Lee publicly said that he would be Singapore's goalkeeper. Go would handle day-to-day -day affairs. Chiam Si Tong and J.B. Jayaretnam argued for the opposition. Chiam Si Tong would become Singapore's longest-serving opposition lawmaker. J.B. Jayaretnam was the first opposition MP to be elected post-independence. Let's see both sides' tactics. First, the slippery slope. If the people of Singapore give the PAP two-thirds majority at the polls, this will be the last time the people shall be voting under the parliamentary system as we know of it today. The real purpose of the PAP to introduce the elected president is to deprive the people of Singapore effectively the one man one vote system. Slippery slope arguments take this form. If X happens, then Y will happen. If the PAP gets a two-thirds majority, they'll radically change Singapore's parliament, including the one man one vote system. Slippery slope arguments are powerful when X will lead to Y. If X won't lead to Y, then slippery slope arguments are weak. They may still affect viewers emotionally though. How strong is Mr. Chiam's argument? I'll let viewers come to their own conclusion. Another tactic is to directly attack the person making an argument. Let's see what happened when the Workers' Party chief questioned the elected presidency proposal. Doesn't that diminish the supremacy of parliament? Does it not? Mr. Jayaratnam, we are dying to lord it over the people, aren't you? Mr. Lee didn't directly answer Mr. Jayaratnam's question. Instead, he criticised Jayaratnam's motivations for asking the question. Attacking the character of the questioner is also known as an ad hominem argument. Ad hominem arguments are only strong when the attack has something to do with the issue at hand. Otherwise, they are weak from a logical standpoint. Let's move on to our third clip. President. Now let me ask you another question. Mr. Chiam, you say the elected president denies people one man, one vote. Yes. In America, they have one man, one vote. Yes. They vote for a president. But their system is different. They vote for a vote. president. Yes. Therefore, an elected president does not in itself mean that one man, one vote is we diminished. We have got a different system here. Mr. Chiam argues that you can either have the elected president or one man, one vote, but not both. In other words, there's a dichotomy. Mr. Lee pushes back by saying that you can have both. In other words, Mr. Lee is saying that Mr. Chiam is making a false dichotomy. There's a second tactic here. Mr. Lee made an analogy with the US political system. Mr. Chiam says that Mr. Lee's analogy is weak. To evaluate their arguments, ask yourself the following. Can we both have an elected president and a one-man-one-vote system? 
is the US president's role analogous to the Singapore president? And now, the final clip. You know, you can, you can amend the constitution in one hour on the certificate app. In one afternoon, on a certificate of emergency. Three readings. One, two, three. Which could be done without an elected president. No. You must have an elected no. president. Why? First. You can have a three readings without an elected president. Well, you would not have the Why? moral... You would not have the moral authority. <laughs> you would not dare to. I don't know what to call this. So I'll call this attack by laughter. I hope this video inspires you to carefully think about what you hear, whoever you may be listening to. Cheers!